Hi everybody, welcome to glutes and ab focus class. Whenever you're ready, we'll go ahead and get set up. So hip width, the size of two fists between your feet and your knees. Your shoe size roughly, heels to glutes, and you can roll your back down onto the mat. Check in with your pelvis position, <laughs> imprint and arch. Roll your back into the mat and arch. Find the center of these two positions <laughs> for a neutral pelvis. Tailbone heavy, lower ribs heavy, hands onto your rib cage. Inhale and open the ribs wide. Exhale, knit your ribs in and down. <sighs> Breathe in, open the ribs wide. Exhale, draw the ribs together. <sighs> Once more, inhale. And exhale. <sighs> when you're ready, hands by the sides, crawl your fingers to the end of the mat. Shoulders back, opening up across your collarbones. Make sure you're not flaring the rib cage. So lower ribs heavy, tailbone heavy, gentle chin nod. Take a breath into the side of your ribs. With your exhale, gentle with the pelvic floor, like you're holding in pee, holding in wind. Scoop your belly trace up along your back and knit your ribs in and down. Inhale, open the ribs wide. Exhale, pelvic floor, abs, ribs. <sighs> Breathe in, open the ribs wide. Exhale, gentle pelvic floor, scoop the belly and knit the ribs. Inhale to prepare. With your exhale, switch on the core, lifting your first knee into tabletop. Breathe in, exhale, switch on, lift the second leg into tabletop. Squash your knees and ankles together, lower ribs are heavy. Reach your arms up to the ceiling and relax your shoulders down without flaring the rib cage. Exhale, you're gonna tap the right toes and lift the left arm in line with the ear making sure that you keep your spine set up, that neutral spine with the core control. Inhale to the center. Exhale, left toes, right hand. Think about what's not moving. So the arm pointing to the ceiling and the leg in tabletop. And inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Let's take a moment for coordination. Left toes, right arm. Inhale to the center. Exhale, right toes, left arm and inhale really getting our brain into this connection from the start so exhale and inhale exhale and inhale five four three Two, and one. Lengthen the legs up towards the ceiling. You can repeat the first exercise or progress to this straight leg version. Scoop through the center. Right arm in line with the ear. Left leg lowers, keep stretching through the leg that's in the air and inhale back to the center. Ankles touch. Exhale, second side, stretch through both, both legs and inhale to the center. Four, think about what's not moving as well. The steady arm, the steady leg, reaching through the arms and the legs. Three, ankles touch, so our body awareness is really building here. Mind-body connection. Two, last one each side. Bend your knees again, your ankles are still touching, knees are touching, knees above your hips and tabletop. Float the hands and reach across the room. Exhale, switch on your core to come forward into ab prep. Tailbone heavy, lower ribs heavy. You can support your head, you can lower the shoulders down and just do the leg portion of this exercise, which is to inhale and reach the legs out and exhale to draw it back, or you can do the full exercise. So modify if you need to. Imagine you have a piece of paper between your knees and your ankles. Inhale and exhale, five, as you can maintain stability and connection to the center, four. Inhale and exhale, three, two, and one. Roll your back fully into the mat. Lengthen your legs out along the ground and come forward. It's okay if the legs lift a little when you do that. Lower it back imprinting your back, bending the knees back to tabletop. Exhale, 
and inhale. Five, exhale, and inhale. Four, exhale, feel the lower abs supporting this move forward. Curl through the spine, imprint your back. Three, imprint to straight legs, chest forward. And inhale, two, gliding through the body, strength through the abs. And inhale, last one, hands behind the head. Give the weight of your head away. Open the elbows wide, scoop your belly, knit your ribs. When you're ready, rotate to the left elbow, lengthen your right leg at a diagonal. It can go lower to the ground if your pelvis is stable. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, right elbow, left leg, and inhale to the center. Five, forward with the chest, steady with the hips. Rotate, open the elbows wide. Four, three, two, and one. Lower your feet down, walk the feet a little further down the mat. Scoop through the core neutral pelvis, release the hands, stretch your arms across the room, zip up through the center. Draw your shoulders down, opening across the chest. Chest is forward and proud, tailbone is heavy, brain is in the midline. Press your heels down and draw the heels towards you slightly, just enough to feel the recruitment through the back of the legs, that organization from the toes up through the legs, up along the spine, connecting our bodies and reach, drawing the armpits down the sides of the body. Pumping the arms, keep your spine still, keep your shoulders still. That involves work through the legs, the inner thighs, through the center of the body, pelvic four abs ribs. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Ten. Nine. Eight, in, two, three, four, five, reach. Exhale, two, three, four, five, seven, in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, six, Five in two, three, four, five and out two, three, four, five, four. Inhale two, three, four, five. Use your core. Three. Inhale two, three, four, five and exhale two, three, four, two. Last one. Two, three, four, five. Breathe out two, three, four, five. Lower the shoulders down. Hug your knees in to release your back. Rock your head out from side to side. Let your knees out. Take a breath in and out. When you're ready, you can roll forward or use your hands to come forward. You can go to one side with the legs or cross your ankles over and come through. We're coming to an all fours position. Spread the fingers wide, hands are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips, so the size of two fists between your knees. Check your shoulder blade position, sliding together and sliding apart. Feel the difference between your shoulder blades drawing together and spreading apart. Find the center where you're not rounding too much, you're not squeezing too much. Check your pelvis, tilting up and down, tilting up and down. Find the center for neutral. Lengthen your neck and line your head up into the rest of your spine. Press into the front of the feet, you feel the core starting to recruit. Get into your pelvic floor, scoop your belly, knit your ribs. Lengthen your left leg back behind you. Reach through your toes, your ankle, your knee and your hip. Scoop the belly and knit the ribs. You're gonna inhale to bend the knee in. Exhale, stretch, reaching back behind you. The more you reach back, the less you're gonna feel the weight in the hands. Second time, we inhale to bring the knee in, flex the foot and exhale to donkey kick. All the while keeping our pelvis neutral, so we don't want this to happen at any point. Scoop the belly, knit the ribs, move from the hip, move from the bone muscles. So we inhale and point stretch. Inhale, bend, exhale, flex the foot and donkey kick. So inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Coordination, <laughs> inhale, exhale, use your abs. Inhale, exhale, donkey kick, warm up the glutes. <laughs> inhale and exhale. Three, stretch, reach back. Four, Five. 
five, steady with the center. There's a cup of tea on your back. You don't want to spill it. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Keep centered, keep still and stable through the middle of the body. Two more rounds. Inhale and exhale, reaching through the ankle. Inhale and exhale. One more round. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Lengthen the leg back behind you. Reach through your toes, ankle, knee and hip. Scoop the belly, knit the ribs. You're going to tap towards the outside of the mat. Inhale through center like you're drawing a rainbow with the foot and exhale to tap the outside. We don't want to side bend, so keep lengthened and strong through the center. Inhale and exhale. Really work your bone muscles. Inhale and exhale. Eight. Seven. The more you reach through the leg, the less you feel in the hands. Six. Get into the abs, get into the bum, get into the legs. Five, reach through the ankle. Four, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Three, we really feel the stabilizing leg as well as the moving leg. Inhale and exhale. Two, last one, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Come back to the center, lower the leg down, cat cow your back, feel that release through the hips as well, then find your center again. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, check your shoulders, your pelvis, press into the feet, scoop through the core, line up your head into the rest of your spine, switch on the center, lengthen your right leg back, reach through your toes, your ankle, your knee and your hip. The more you stretch back, the less weight we feel in the upper body. So use your core and manage the weight of the leg. Inhale, bend the knee in, exhale to stretch, feel that sense of length. Inhale, bend the knee in, exhale to donkey kick without moving the pelvis, scoop your belly, knit the ribs. Inhale, leg in, exhale straight back. Inhale, knee in, exhale, donkey kick. Use your abs. Inhale, exhale, zip up through the center. Inhale, side of the ribs. Exhale, scoop through the center as you donkey kick. Breathe in and out. Reach through the ankle. Inhale and exhale. Three more rounds. Inhale, exhale, stretch. <laughs> Inhale, exhale, donkey kick. Two more rounds. Breathe in and out. Use your abs. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Reach through the ankle. Inhale and exhale. One more round, breathe in and out, <laughs> breathe in and out. Stretch the leg back behind you, scoop through the center, knit the ribs, line up your head. Tap the outside of the mat, inhale, tracing a rainbow, tap the inside. <sighs> inhale and exhale without side bending and without tilting the pelvis forward, so keep nice and neutral. <sighs> Eight, keep reaching back, seven, six, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, five, keep stretching through the leg, inhale and exhale, four, relax the shoulders, three, connect to the middle of the body, inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale, two, last one, stabilizing side of our body, working hard, moving side, hydrating and working hard, keeping nice and supple, come back to the center, draw the leg in. Go for a stretch so you can come down onto the elbows and stretch forward. You can sit fully back into shell pose if that suits your knees. Crawl the fingers forward, take a deep breath in. Exhale, fully let everything go. Now come back up, we're gonna cross the ankles over, curl the tailbone under, take your time swapping around positions if you need. We're gonna stretch into the glute muscles through the outside of our glutes. Crawl the fingers forward, lean into the hips and enjoy that release through your external hip, sitting down into the pelvis, releasing your bum muscles. Breathe in and out. 
Walk the hands back in, swap the cross, curl your tailbone under and crawl the fingers forward just as far as you're comfortable with. Take a deep breath in and out. Whenever you're ready, you can walk the hands back in and relax your shoulders. Let's go back into some ab work. <laughs> so back to our starting position, hip width, feet and knees, shoe size, heels to glutes, roll your back down onto the mat and check in with your pelvis position. Hands by the sides, crawl the fingers down the mat, shoulders back, lower ribs heavy, gentle chin nod, breathe in. With your exhale, switch on through the center, pelvic floor, abs, ribs, lift your left knee into tabletop. Inhale. Exhale, switch on and lift the right knee, knees and ankles together. Shoulders can stay down or you could take a break and lower them down anytime you like. Otherwise, float the arms, reach forward. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, switch on your core and come forward into ab prep. We're gonna press both hands into the front of the right knee. Again, this can be done with the shoulders down or up. So never force your neck through a position that it doesn't like. So you're pressing back and forward and we're releasing the opposite side. Exhale and inhale. Only go as low as you can maintain stability and connection through the core. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. You can repeat that or stretch the leg, reach through your toes, ankle, knee and hip. Think about the non-moving leg as well. Press back and forward, exhale to lower, inhale to lift, stretch the back of the leg. You could have one hand behind your head or lower the shoulders down if you need. So never push through pain. Eight. Seven. Hips are steady as if you're glued to the ground. Six. Five, proud with the chest, even though the abs are burning. Four, relax your head anytime you need, relax your neck anytime you need. Three, two, and one. When you're ready, come back to the center, lower the shoulders down, keep your legs where they are and just relax your head out from side to side. Back to the center when you're ready, scoop through the core, float the arms, unless you're choosing to keep the shoulders down. Squeeze your knees and ankles together, you're reinforcing the midline connection. Exhale to come forward into ab prep, both hands on the front of your left knee, exhale release the right leg and inhale to draw it back. Eight, pressing back and forward between the hands and the knee. Seven, Use your core, making sure you're not going into a forward tilt. Six, five, steady with the hips. Use that exhale, use that core work. Four, three, anytime you need a break with the shoulders, that's fine. Two, lower ribs are heavy if your shoulders are down. And one, repeat that, or we have our straight leg version. Reach and get length through the leg first. Exhale. And inhale, eight, chest is forward if you're in ab prep, nice and proud, seven. Exhale, fully connect through the ab work and inhale, six. Five, zip up through the center, then inhale to open the ribs wide, four. Exhale and inhale, three. Abs are burning, stay focused, mind-body connection, two. Exhale and inhale, one. Bend the knee, lower the shoulders down, hug your knees in or lie down flat. Rock your knees from side to side, let your head out from side to side. You can reach the arms wide and bring your knees from one side of the floor to the other if that suits your back. Come back to the center, relax your shoulders. Release your knees into tabletop, hands by the sides, crawl the fingers down the mat, shoulders back, lower ribs heavy, gentle chin nod. We did the 100 earlier with our feet on the mat. You can repeat that if that suits your hips better. You can do the 100 with the shoulders on the ground if that suits you better. So choose to modify if you like. Otherwise, come forward into ab prep. You can keep the knees bent or lengthen at a diagonal. Either way, you can do the ankle work, flex and point. So choose your version. Come into the full one with me if you like. Bend the feet, inhale, two, three, four, five, point. Exhale, two, three, four, five, ten. Nine. Eight, reach the legs, squash the ankles together, inner thighs recruiting into the glutes. Seven. Six, stretch the arms across the room, your spine is steady. Five. Four. 
four, inhale, two, three, four, five, point, exhale, two, three, four, three, flex the feet, two, three, four, five, point, connect through the legs, two, last one, two, three, four, five, abs are burning, two, three, four, five, roll it down and hug your knees in, rock your knees from side to side, let your head out from side to side, take a deep breath in, and out and you can center up. We're gonna to come to a side lying position. If you'd like to mirror me, you can come onto your left side first. You can lie down flat or support the head, whatever suits you better, relax your shoulders. You could modify by bending both knees to start with, otherwise the legs are straight and you're coming forward at a slight diagonal. Relax the shoulders and lengthen the neck. You're gonna reach the top arm up to the ceiling, stretch the top leg <laughs> up to the ceiling and press down to the lower side of the body. You're reaching towards the ankle, then you're gonna inhale and kick that leg back, reach the hand forward. So exhale to stretch up and inhale. Can be done with a bent knee if you like. Exhale and inhale. Keep it small for the start. Exhale and inhale. Feel your oblique stretch through the ankle. Five. Four. Feel the weight of the arm and the leg working our internal and external obliques. Three, two, and one. You can continue that version or come onto the elbow. So we're going to stretch and allow the front of the body to open and rotate and exhale to reach up. Inhale and exhale. Push away from the floor so your neck is long. Exhale and inhale, eight, working the abs, working our glutes as well, seven, six, press the floor away so your shoulders are away from your ears, five, exhale, and inhale, four, feel this movement through the body, connecting through the toes, press down into the bottom leg, that was three, and this is two, last one, exhale, and inhale. Lower down, you can lie down flat or support your head. You can bring the legs straight now instead of slightly in front of you. You can bend the bottom leg or have the legs straight, whatever suits you better. We're gonna hike the top hip so you're pushing down and getting rid of any space underneath the lower side of the body. Float the leg, flex your foot, push through the heel, hinge from the hip. We inhale, point your toes and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So there's not much movement back behind you, especially with that hip hike we're controlling through the center. Inhale and exhale, just five more. Four more. Inhale and exhale. Three more. Feel that stretch through the back of the leg and exhale. Two more. Inhale and exhale. Once more, stretch the hamstrings and exhale. We're gonna pulse up and up, feel the glutes. Stretch the leg more, so maybe there's a little mouse hole underneath the lower side of the body. Stabilize the hips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Flex the knee or bend the knee, exhale, exhale. Harder with the bottom leg straight, easier if you bend the bottom knee. Eight, seven, six, five, lengthen the neck, relax the shoulders, three, two, and one. Stretch the leg out, bend the bottom knee if you like, keep it straight for the exercise to be harder. Exhale for half a circle and inhale, five, four, three, two, and one, reverse the direction. Five, four, three, exhale for half, inhale for half, two, press into the bottom leg, and one. Relax it down, relax the outside of your hip. Let's swap sides. You can modify so you could lie down flat or support your head. We're bringing the legs slightly forward, but you can still do this with the bottom knee bent to modify if you like. Stretch the top arm up towards the ceiling, reach the top leg up, pushing the lower side of your body down into the mat. With your inhale, we're gonna reach slightly backwards, not a big rotation, you're gonna keep glued to the ground. Exhale and inhale. Eight, 
stable through the center, seven. So keep your rib cage in contact with the ground, keep the hip in contact with the ground, six. Exhale and inhale, five. Breathe out, scan your body from your toes to your head, four. Three, press down into the lower side of the body. Two, exhale and inhale, one. You can repeat that version or you can come up onto the elbow so we've more rotation potential. Scoop through the core and knit the ribs. You can stretch the leg back further in this version. Exhale and inhale, push the floor away, lengthen the neck, eight. Seven. Six. Exhale and inhale, feel your obliques work, five. Exhale and inhale, four, exhale and exhale and inhale, feel your obliques work, exhale and inhale. We're bringing the legs slightly forward but you can still do this with the bottom knee bent to modify if you like. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Lengthen the leg out, relax the shoulders, push into the lower side of the body. Exhale for half a circle, inhale for half. The size of the circle just depends on how stable you feel. Two, exhale, and inhale. Three, keep stretching the leg. Exhale, and inhale. Four, relax the shoulders. Exhale, and inhale. Five, reverse the direction. Nice and big, as long as you're stable. Can be smaller if you like. That was five, and this is four. Exhale, and inhale. Three, exhale, and inhale. Two, and one. Whenever you're finished, the one that you're on, relax the leg down and you can wake up the side of the hip. You're gonna roll over onto your belly. Let's just balance this out for the spine. Feet are nice and close together. Relax the shoulders. Get your brain gently through the center of the body. Pelvic floor, abs, ribs. If you like, the hands can go wider, elbows down. This means you won't come as high into the back extension. You could always lift, keeping a bend in the elbows. If you'd like to extend higher, the elbows can start closer towards the body. So you'll push up and get a bigger back extension. It's up to you, never force the back. Keep reaching through the legs. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in, lift through the crown of the head. Keep awareness in the feet, stretching back and exhale. So feel the length up and back through the body and exhale. Let's go for five. Four, inhale and exhale. Three, breathe in and out. Relax your shoulders, two, inhale and exhale. Last one. Inhale to press up as high as you're comfortable with. With the exhale, stretch your legs, feel your core as you lift the legs. So you're not lifting from the back, you're lifting from the core through the center of the body. Inhale the feet lower as your head lifts. Exhale, use your core, lift the legs, your head lowers like a seesaw or a rocking horse. Inhale and exhale. If this doesn't suit your back, repeat the first version instead. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Nice and gently come out of it. Tuck your toes under, press back onto all fours. Let your spine relax, so cat cow stretch. Take your time. From here, you can curl your toes under, lift your knees. Knees can be bent or legs can be straight. Walk your hands towards your feet. Let the weight of your arms and your head hang. Don't nod your chin, shake your head. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, push the floor away and roll up lower back stacks. Mid back, upper back. Relax your shoulders, unstick your chin. Inhale, reach and circle the arms around. Exhale, let it go. Opposite direction, inhale and exhale. Anchor down through your feet. Inhale fully. Exhale to roll down. One vertebra at a time. Let the weight hang. It's okay if your knees are bent. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, push the floor away. Lower back. Mid back. <laughs> Upper back. Relax the shoulders. Unstick the chin. Inhale, reach and circle the arms around. Exhale, let it go. Opposite direction. Inhale, stretch. And exhale to let everything go. 
Thank you so much for joining one of my classes. Again, it means the world to me. It means I can keep making classes. So I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much. I hope you loved the class. I hope you feel great. You can always repeat your favorite classes as many times as you like. And I'll see you for our next class. Thanks everybody.